Well, hello, it's Scott Pickin, uh, CEO and founder of Wealth Migrate. I'm in a very noisy street here in India, and I thought I'd make this weekly Wealth Insight uh, here from Mumbai, India. So what is this Wealth Insight about? Well, you know, it's interesting if you've ever watched uh, Simon Sinek and the principle of the golden circle, and it's all about why. And most people in life are trying to figure out the what and the how. And then, you know, they, they, they don't actually get clear on the why. Whereas I'm a big believer and everything that Simon Sinek teaches is that you've got to get clear on the why and then you'll figure out the how and the what. And you can see here behind me, uh, <laughs> interesting for a, uh, the middle of the financial capital of, uh, of uh, Mumbai. Um, you can see all the little taxis and uh, everything going past as we, as we look. So anyway, something I was thinking about while I was here in India was that if you take the concept of why and how you spell why, you know, it starts with a W, which is the what, and then an H, which is the how. So you got to get clear on your why. And, you know, it's like the top of the mountain. When you know where the top of the mountain is, you are going to get there. Whereas if you're not clear on what the top of the mountain is, you'll just walk up any hill that's around and you'll walk around around, you know, your whole life and you'll never get to the top of the mountain. But, you know, if you're clear on what your top of your mountain is, you're clear on your why, then you'll get the what and the how. But there's one key component that's still left and that's the, that's the, that's the why. And that's the yes part. You know, it's been a really, really interesting here in, uh, in India. It's my second time to India. It's my first business trip. We've just had a very successful launch here in India. And, you know, there's 50, 100 reasons why we shouldn't be in India. But when someone invited us, we said yes. And we're here and, you know, it looks like we're going to establish here. We've got some great partners on the ground. But interesting enough, one of the partners that met us, when they found us online, they liked the business idea. And they too said yes. And, you know, it was interesting because his grandfather in the 1950s got invited to come back and work with his dad and to ultimately start a razor blade company. And, you know, they didn't know anything about how to do it, but he said, fine, I'm an engineer. Let me give it my best shot. And uh, today that company is worth $1.2 billion, billion with a B. They export razor blades to 140 countries around the world. They're the main suppliers for all the big people you know, um, like Gillette, etc. And pretty much most of the razor blades you probably use uh, come from them. And now his grandson is very much getting into fintech and, you know, the digital age and, and, and talk so much about the opportunity here in India and the fact that the median population is going to be 29 years old. And, um, you know, it's interesting because if the grandfather hadn't have said yes, you know, they wouldn't have built a, a massive empire. And if the father... I uh, then got invited as a job by his father to go and, and they were only selling razor blades at the time in India to Indians. And he said, well, why don't you go and try and figure out how to export them around the world? And he started off in a place called Australia that some people might or might not. And his first sale was a 20,000 uh, pound sale. And uh, today that company has already, as I said to you, 140 different countries that they export to. And now his son, you know, he's on a place called Cedars and he finds a company like ours and he decides that it's a great opportunity and he too invests as a significant, you know, platinum investor and he says India is the opportunity and he invites us out here and he puts us in front of all his friends and family and takes us to all the fancy clubs, um, not the, not nightclubs, but business clubs. I mean, they really are the well-to-do families here in India and, you know, we could have said no, but we didn't. You know, Ken Williams has been working hard with him. Uh, Paul Nero has been working hard with him, you know, and, and I've, uh, I'm, you know, all of us have come here. And uh, I think it's going to be very, very fruitful. And so what is the moral of the story and, and from this wealth insight is that you've got to get clear on your why. You know, what is your top of your mountain? If you want to empower a billion people like we do, well, we've got to get to the markets where we've got the ri largest rising middle class populations, you know, China, India, Africa. And you know, we wanted to get into India since 2017. We got very clear um, on, on the fact we wanted to be here. We wanted to be in China. And although China was extremely difficult, it took us a year and a half to, to make inroads, but we finally did it. And you know, now we're getting great success out of China and we're looking to emulate and copy that in India. And ultimately it'll be the same in Africa. So that's what happens when you, when you get clear on your why. And what's really fascinating for me is that, you know, once you're clear on your why, your hot, your, your how, your what and your how, you know just falls into place but you know there's there's always the principle between those who succeed in life and those who don't and that's the ability to say yes that's the ability to take action that's the ability to get stuff done and that's what the why stands for in 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 the why 
you know, the, it's the yes part. You have to be able to say yes. And, you know, I leave you with one closing thought that I always remind myself, you know, I'm here, it's a public holiday, away from my family. And, um, and you know, it's been a tough work week here in India. And they always say, successful people do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. So that one day they don't have to do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. It's a beautiful little thought. So what's your why? Once you get clear on your why, you'll get clear on your, on your what and your how. And then, most importantly, have the guts to say yes. Scott Pickin, signing out from Mumbai, India. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with your friends. We want to empower a billion people. We can't do it on our own. And most importantly, if, uh, if we're adding value to you, then subscribe to the channel because we can't, you know, we're only going to be able to do it if you share it with your friends and family. And they too get access to the knowledge, the self-belief and the stories from some of the wealthiest families around the world. Cheers.